Hi, it's Matt here for Newshooter.com at NAB 2019. I'm with Forrest and Dan from Atlas Lenses. Now, you guys have got a couple of new products. What are they? Yeah, so at this NAB, we're debuting the 32, 50, and 80 Orion Series Primes. So this is the first time we're going to be showing those lenses to the public. And along with that, we have a couple other special surprises. Uh, we have the new Atlas Lens Co. LF Extender. And this will allow all of our lenses from 32 to 100 mil to cover LF sensors like the Airy LF sensor, uh, Red Monstro sensor, Sony Venice sensor, uh, Sony A7 series sensors, other large format sensors, uh, edge to edge with a PL uh, mount. What sort of light loss are we looking at with this adapter? It's a one and one third stop loss. Not too bad. So this is uh, still in prototype stage? Yeah, I'd love to let Forrest uh, walk us through a little bit of information about our special 25 millimeter prototype here. Uh, it's a working prototype, but uh, Forrest, do you want to talk about yeah. it a little bit? Yeah, right. So this is uh, literally one of a kind. It's the only one that we have. Uh, it's a working prototype, so you can come here and see it um, on camera. And uh, as you can see, it's a bit larger in the front here than the rest of the lenses. It's gone up to a OD of 134. Um, and it is continuing the T2 trend that we have going on with our Orion series currently. Same um, distance for the gears from the front to back. What sort of Im image coverage are we looking at with this lens? This is still covering um, our design spec for t typical uh, Super 35. Um, corner to corner, so yeah, four perf, four perf, uh, full height anamorphic film format, traditional. Um, so great for you know airy sensors, red sensors. Uh, it's not going to cover LF edge to edge, mm -hmm. but great for other formats, Super 35 format. And was this uh, was this a very difficult lens to design? It was a challenge. Yeah, it was definitely a challenge because there's limitations with both sensor coverage and. We wanted to fit into a standard, so, you know, housing that fits an industry standard size. And there's some challenges with that, but ultimately we're really impressed, really proud of the look that it has. It gives you um, that wide field of view, but not with the, uh, the amount of distortion that one would expect with something going that wide. So it's very well controlled. We're really happy with that. We're happy with the look. Um, am wild. Amazing, beautiful bokeh. Everything about it seems uh, A-OK -okay right now. And when are these expected to ship? Have you got any indication of pricing yet? So we haven't yet set a price or a delivery date for the 25 millimeter, but we'd love to hear from people what they think of the lens after they get their hands on it, um, see how little distortion there is, see how pleasing the bokeh and the flare characteristic are, and uh, let us know what you think. The LF extender is shipping now, and this lists for 2,000 US dollars. Uh, and if you buy it with any lens or set of lenses, it's 1,849 US dollars. So you get a little discount for getting it with lens or, or lenses. Thanks very much. Yeah, thank you. Have a great one.